Shalom Aleichem, sweetest friends. This is so exciting. We are coming close to the Yom Chatsunosov, Yom Simchas Libo, the day of Matan Torah. Today's Rosh Chodesh Sivan. This is the time to prepare for the Yom HaGadol Ranura, the day that changed world history, the day of the giving of the Torah. So much to learn about this of Mamad Sinai, so little time. So we'll do what we can. Siyata Dishmaya. Today we're going to be learning a mimer based on the Sefer Mamari's Man Matan Tarasenu of Rav Shlomo Volva, Zechat Sadik Levracha. This year should be a special schus for Rav Moshe Yudam and Peshadina, Racha Vatzlach Abuhaman Sayyadov, and for Rav Gilamir ben Penina. The Gemara in Mesechus Nedarim and Aplamid Vav Amid Aleph tells a story that there was a certain person who made a Nedava to give Shlomim. And he says that any one of his children who gets to Yerushalayim first will be Zochet to eat these Shlomim. And the girls beat the boys. And the Gemara says that the Nimtsu Banos Zrizos Ubanim Shvelim. The girls were Zrizos, the girls had alacrity. And the boys were what's the opposite of Zrizos? They were lazy, right? But that's not what the Gemara says. The Gemara says something very interesting. The Habanim Shvelim. The boys were low. Why doesn't it say that they were lazy? Because the Gemara is telling us a secret. What's the secret of laziness? Why is a person lazy? The answer is very often because he is shuffle. A person is low in his eyes. If he realized his value, his importance, he wouldn't be lazy. When the President of the United States' alarm clock goes off in the morning, he doesn't think to himself, why should I get out of bed today? I don't have anything to do. I don't have an important job. What am I contributing to the world? He doesn't say that. What does he say? He says, I'm the most important person in the whole universe. I have big things to do today. And he gets out of bed. A person who's high in his eyes, who's elevated, isn't going to be lazy. When a person's in Evid Hashem, I have a secret. Being in Evid Hashem is even more important than being President of the United States. We don't realize that. But when our alarm goes off in the morning, we say, Modani, we should know that the whole world is for us. <laughs> that we recognize, Modani, lefanecha, melechai, v'kayim. That I'm thanking you, Hashem, the living king. We have to realize our chashivas. So the shoresh of Zerizus, of shiflus, of, of, of atzlus is shiflus. Laziness, the root of laziness, is... Lowness. The Torah says that when a person sees a sota bekilkula, yazir atzmo minayayin. When a person sees a sota in her disgraced state, he should stop drinking wine. That's why the Torah is masmich the two parshias of sota and nazir. To tell you there's a relationship. When you see the sota, what happens to her in the base of Mikdush? Don't drink wine. Because what got her into trouble in the first place? Wine. She drank wine, and she ended up doing something with a man she shouldn't have done. So, what's this drinking wine? What happens when a person drinks wine? They become very low. They act in very disgraceful ways. And when a person's yazir at some and he becomes a nazir, milosh nazir, it's a crown. He becomes so elevated. So that's the tikkun. The tikkun to the loneliness of Sota is the hecherkeit, is the elevation of being a nazir. Rashi in Parshish Yisro says, V'atem tili mamleches koyenim v'goy kadosh. You should be for me a nation of priests 
and a whole a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Zakt Rashi, Kohanim, Sarim, Al Derech, Uvenei David, Kohanim Hayu. He says, you know what Kohanim are? They are ministers. He says about Bnei David, they were Kohanim. It doesn't mean that they were from the Shevet of Kohuna. We know that David is Shevet Yehuda. He's not Shevet Levi. But it means that they were ministers. Bnei David Kohanim Hayu. The Rambam, the Ramban, excuse me, argues with Rashi. And the Ramban says, Mamleches Misharsai. You are a nation of those who serve me. Rashi says, it's Lashon Sarim, your ministers, your Choshev, Vichtik. And the Ramban says, you're Misharsai. That's the Mamlechas mamlech, Kohanim. Noch Matan Torah state, after Matan Torah it says, Vayomer Moshe Elohim, Al Tiro, don't be afraid. Ki levavur nasos eschem bo Elohim. Because God came, lin nasos eschem. What does that mean? Nas bavur nasos eschem. Zok derashi. Ligadel eschem. Beolam. She yetze lachem. Shame. Baumos. Shehu bechlodo nigla alechem. I want to make you great in the world, that you should have a name in the nations, that God in His glory revealed Himself to you. Nasos, Rashi says, what's Nasos? Lashon harama vigadula, kamo harimu nes, raise that banner, raise the mast. Bavur Nasos, Matan Torah, is to make us more elevated people. Hecherkeit, they call it in yeshivas. To feel that you matter, to feel that you're important. Obviously, it's not an arrogant, haughty self-importance, but it's an importance of the feeling of the knowledge, with the knowledge that you've, that, that you've been imbued by God with holy qualities. It's a great task in life. The Ramban, Lashitaso, argues with Rashi. That's the Shittas, so you know, he very often argues with Rashi. And he says that it's Lashon Nisayon. It's to test you. Rashi says Nasos is to lift you up. And the Ramban says Nasos is to test you, Nisayon. From Rashi we see that the Hakdoma to Matan Torah was you're important. You're Sarim. Don't you know how great you are? Don't you know how special you are? Isn't that an amazing idea? That that's how we're introduced. That's the Hakadama to Matan Torah. And then Rashi Lishitasu. After Matan Torah, the whole thing was Bavur Nasas. What's the Bavur Nasas? I, I did it to elevate you. You're so important. You're so special. If a person is Shakua, if he's immersed and shiftless, he's outside. He's not in the inner circle. Those who are in the inner circle, those who are in the, God's inner circle, know their importance. Again, I must stress, it's not an independent importance. Not that I'm great. I don't need anybody. The world is for me. Serve me. It's that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is great and he created the world and he created me and he made me Jewish and he gave me the Torah wow thank you Hashem and a person has to walk around with such filled with simcha all the time that he's been given this special task and really every human being just the fact that you're a human being you could be an ant you could be a cat how many living creatures on the planet of self-awareness, self-consciousness. And there's only one guy, one group, one race. You know what race that is? The human race. We're the only ones. And obviously that's that's from God. But we're just a bunch of chemicals. We're machines. I mean, we most of us have computers, right? The computer can do a lot of calculations, very quick ones. I mean, before I even type in enter, a lot of times I write the calculation and already it shows up what the answer is. 
I used to do math on paper when I was in elementary school. Occasionally I calculate. And now I learn. And the teacher would say, show your work, Alan. Just call me Alan. Show your work. And I don't have to show my work anymore because A, I don't go to math class. And B, I do it all on the computer. Anyway, the computer does a lot of calculations. And the computer does very fast searches. The person does a Google search. Searches millions upon millions of sites in milliseconds. Wow. And then it gives you all the results. Wow, right? But a computer has no self-awareness. It doesn't say, I am a computer. What is my purpose in this world? I hope that I'm fulfilling my task. I hope you're using me for ruchnius. I want to make the world a better place. Only human beings are saying that. Cats aren't saying that. Dogs aren't saying that. I've never interviewed a cat or a dog. But safe to say. And that's the awareness that we have, and that's what we have to thank Hashem for. And that's Godless Ha'odah. Every time you do a mitzvah, it requires godless love. I'm standing before the Rabbana Shalom. How do I not feel godless? First thing you wake up in the morning. Say, thank you for all you've given me. Wow, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Eyes, I have ears, I have a collarbone. I was feeling my collarbone tonight. It's hard, rock solid. How did it get that way? If you think of how we were created, there was nothing rock solid in there. There's the it's not rock solid. There's the woman side. Also not. And all of a sudden we have all this bone and tissue and billions of cells. So many different complex apparatuses in the human body. It's really the most amazing machine that's ever been. And all the scientists in the world, with all the know-how and all the modern technology and all the laboratories, they can't create a human being by themselves. You need to do it the way it was always, meaning you need to have the right materials. Sometimes they can maybe put in a test tube and then back in the woman's stomach. But it's time to create a human being. And even if they say, oh, we'll have robots and all these things, it's still not going to be a human being. So that's godless Adam. We just, just this Ani that we say in the morning that Hashem gave us and we thank Him for all that He gave us. Like the Shulchan Aruch begins, Ramah. How are you, Makayim? The first thief in the Shulchan Aruch, if you're an Adam Shafel. God is before me always. This is the Kal Gadol B'Torah, Ma'as HaTzadikim, your whole Lich Lifnei Elokim. It says in the Gemara Yuma, Shalosh Zar and Zerimim. There are three Zers, three crowns. Zerim is Bech, Aaron, Otla. The crown is Bech, that's Aaron. It's Kahuna. It's the Keser Kahuna. The crown of Kahuna. Zer Ashulchan, the table. It's David. Keser Malchus. Zer Aaron, Munach, Leomet, Kalarotza, Lito, Yavo, Velito. And then there's the Zer Aaron. That's standing there. Anybody who wants to take it can come and take it. Shema Tomar Pachosu. Maybe you think it's less, the Keser Torah, Zerat Aaron. Talmud Lomar Bim and Lachanim Lochu. With me, kings will rule. It's the Torah speaking. And Torah has a. Kings will, 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 will crown me. Bim and Lachanim with me, as with the Torah. Kings will be crowned. So, you see the Hashivas of the Torah. So, we understand why Melucha is a Keser. We understand why Kahuna is a Keser. Because Malchus and Kahuna are this type of Malchus, of Hashivas. But what's the Keser of Torah? And the answer is exactly what we've been saying. Keser is something very high, elevated, even above the person. If a person is osek b'torah properly, he's zocha like the Rambam talks about. He's zocha the keser Torah. It's the crown of Torah. Because the mahus of Torah is romamus. Umeromamto al kola maisim, it says in Pirkei Avos and Perakin in Torah.
It says in the Gemara in Pesachim, Dav Samaches, Amud Beis. Rav Yosef, Yomud Hatzar, to Amru, Avdili Egla Tilta, make for me a third-born calf, very special, good piece, good piece of meat. He said this on Atzeres and Shavuos, Rav Yosef. Amru Yilav Hayoyma, the Kogarim, if not this day, that caused it, Kama Yosef Ika Bashuka, if not for Yoma and Torah, how many Josephs, how many Joes there would be in the Shuk? Walking down the street, there are loads of guys named Joe. Lots of Yosefs. If not for Matan Torah, there'd be so many of them. But now, because of Torah, now, Baruch Hashem, make me this, I want this good piece of meat today, I want to celebrate what Torah did for me. Or if Sheish is called Flossin Yom, Hadley, the Talmud, the Tali Koy, Vibu the Dasha, Vamra Chadoy, Nafshoi, Chadoy, Nafshoi, Lecha Kroy, Lecha Tnoi. Rav Sheishis, every 30 days, he would chazer his learning, and then he would lean on the uh, lock of the door, and he would say, Chadoi nafshoi, Chadoi nafshoi. My soul should be happy. My soul should be happy. Lecha kroi, lecha tnoi. For you, and for your needs, I learn mikra, I learn Mishnah. And then the Gemara continues. Ini, is that so? He only did it for himself. It's only for me. Not for Torah, there'd be no heaven and earth. If not for my covenant, day and night, the heavens and the earth, I wouldn't have made. Not for the covenant of Torah, there's no world. So how can you say that the learning is only for me? Answers the Gemara, Originally, when a person does it, he does it, for himself, Adai did the And then also there's going to be the benefit for the heavens and the earth. But originally when you start learning, it's for yourself. We see from this Gemara an amazing thing. If Yosef understood the Hashibas of Torah, what does Rashi say there? Ilav ha'yoyma shelemadeti Torah Vinisro Mamti. If not for this day, I learned Torah and I was elevated. Torah is supposed to make you an elevated person. There are a lot of guys in the Shuk named Yosef. What's the difference between me and them? But now that I have this Torah, this Torah Mina Shemayim, how elevated I am. And so we say every day when we start learning. You have to understand where you're going, where they're going. It's a different world. People are running after the, another news story and another tweet and another Instagram and Facebook and all the social media and all the different things people are up to all the time. And you think to yourself for a second, listen, I, I, I wish they were Zohar. But Baruch Elokeinu Shabranu Luchvodu Vivdilanu Men HaTorah Men HaSalam HaTorah Semes We're living, we're living eternity. We're living such meaningful lives, such spiritual lives. And everybody else is just so caught up in the Narish kind of the world. Look at how fortunate we are. We also see from this Gemara that there are two types of kavanas when you learn. First, you have to realize how much good you're doing for yourself. And I think it's because people love themselves. You say, oh, your learning is keeping the world alive. When you start off, it's hard to think in such big terms. But chadoi nafshoi, chadoi nafshoi, it's going to be so gavalik. It's going to make me so happy. It's going to make me, it's going to change me. And by the way, you see it. You see it. 
See, people who learn Torah, you can't deny it. They come out different people than they come in. It really changes people. It changes the way they talk. And it changes the way they act. And the way they dress. And the way they run their lives. Their whole comportment, everything. So that's what Torah is supposed to do. And that's what Torah does. L'chat kray, l'chat tanai. And also, at the same time, that if not for Torah, lo miskayim mishmayim bars, we can connect it to. We can say, Hagufa, the reason it's, it's, it's Torah keeps heaven and earth alive is because uh, uh, existing. It's because God wanted us to be elevated people. And by us being more elevated people, that's what's give the heaven and earth their, 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 their existence. Otherwise, what, what do we need the heaven and earth for? What do we need the whole thing for? That human beings can be more elevated. We see over history, there's so many different philosophies. They come and they go. And frankly, what people were thinking 10 years ago, they're not thinking today anymore. It's a different world. Different philosophies, different attitudes. It just goes with the gone with the wind. And another one, that one goes. Another one, that one goes. And then you see Am Yisrael. And you see the Torah. Time tested. 3,300 years. And you see that it makes for very good people. It makes for very kind people. You don't see in any other nation in the world as much chesed, gemachs, stoka. It's interesting that not only did Jews give you know, to yeshivas and Jewish organizations. But even Jews who are very far away from Torah, they give tremendous amounts of money that's stuck. They give to, to universities and to other different causes, hospitals, much better. And the reason is, is because that's, that comes from that, that Jewish heart and that ethic that's in the genes of, of giving. So that's the, uh, that comes from the Torah. And even when the Goyim give the whole ethic, they call it today the Judeo-Christian ethic. Well, what's Christian about it? Everything that's good in there is Jewish. And Jews were first, so just called the Jewish ethic. But, you know, we're a very small percentage of the population, so a lot more Christians. But just to feel good about the Torah that we have and what we've given the world and what we continue to give the world. And that the Torah has both together the ethical laws and the ritual laws, they all come together in the same Torah. It's like the Maharsha. He wrote a parish, an Agadat and an Halacha. He put in the same parish, Agada Halacha. It's all the same. Today it's a different font, but the Maharsha didn't write in a different font. Right? So that's the, the beauty of, of, the, uh, of the Torah. That it combines everything together. So, Revolva continues. Those who want to learn them, see the Mimer inside. I recommend the Sefer. It's called Mamari Zman Matan Tarisenu. And he concludes and he says that. The whole machlokas that we have with the bilti ma'aminim b'tarim and shemayim is you saw the begadlus adam. How 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 much chashivas do you have? Is it beneath your dignity to go to a bar? Is it not beneath your dignity? Is it beneath your dignity to be engaged in acts of pure fulfilling one's base physical desires just for fun, or is it not beneath you? In the outside world, they say, "What's the problem? Have a good time." As long as it's consensual, everything is fine. And we say, not only is it usr, but that's shiftless. Then you're an animal. And if you eat, and you eat just anything, then you're an animal. And if you eat, and you don't make a bracha, and you don't think about God first, that's beneath us. So that's really the argument we have, that we, we don't want to be shuffle. Rashi says, the Torah says this pasuk. The Torah says that with me, kings will be crowned. In other words, the Torah crowns people. Zari says, 
in Maimer Shlishi, that Bayasa Chassid is a Moshe. Because that's the Bechina of the Torah Kedosha. It's a Mamlech, a person to be a Melech. And that's the Mamleches Kohanim Babay Kodesh. And that's the feeling we all have to have when we get the Torah. That we are elevated. We become greater people. And that has to influence us every second of every day. The thoughts we have, the words we say. And that's the Simcha of Kabbalah Satorah. That we become better people. And that it never ends. Every day is a constant process of growth. That's the great Simcha and the Avodah. We should be Zoha. So to internalize the lessons of the Torah. Amen, Amen, Shalom, Shalom, sweetest and most beloved friend.